Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear and see me. Um, just going to wait and see. Alrighty, that's my phone. Turn it going to silent. <laughs> All righty, we're on. Now, apparently I've still got, and I'll just zoom out a little. Um, there we go. You can see the horse. And we'll come together. Hi, Lynette. Hi, Rado. Um, and I'll zoom it straight back in in a sec, and you'll get a bird's eye view. Hopefully I don't have my hands in the way too much, so I'll just walk my way down and zoom. Zoomies. Zoom. Autofocus, come on. Come on, you can do it. And I'm just trying to get it to zoom into here, which is what we need to do, of course. Just had it all right, now it's decided not to. Either, either it's my eyes are blurry or it looks blurry to me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> come out and in. Oh, that, oh, we've nearly got it. Nearly. I'll have a look. Um, um, okay, does it look nice and clear now? Hi Jodie, how are you going? Or is it just me thinking it looks fuzzy? Um, I think I've got all those in I don't think I can change it while I'm videoing. No. Oh, let's get in here. Oh, there we go. Is that, that looks a bit better. Right. So I do have the dark grey in. Yep, you got it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, beautiful. Um, I haven't changed my needle actually. Um, so anything could go wrong. But I do have that really dark, dark grey black colour in. So just looking at my photo that I have, which you guys might be able to see. There we go. Um, I'm just looking at the main. So if I come in this way, it's quite light, but there are a lot of other colours in there, so but I'm not going to go overboard with it, but I won't look exactly anyway. Um, hi, Judy, how are you going? You will hear Mary in the background. She's working today um, and she's been doing lots of work for me. So I do like to have it the way the, the animal is facing if I can, because it does help for me. Um, so then I can actually see what I'm doing. So, and I do also like to have the photo next to me as well um, so that I can um, just gonna lift up that for a little so that I can see where my colour changes in that are. I'm just getting my thread to bury. Um, and it's gone blurry again because my hand is in the way. So every time I press start, it's going to do that blurry thing. Um, and I'm just going to get the microphone. Hi, Kathy. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm probably doing a fraction too much, but um, mm -hmm. I've pretty much got most of everyone else doing it for me. I'm just sort of directing traffic <laughs> at the moment. Um, and 
yesterday, you know, Dottie, uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday mm -hmm. Dottie came in and did her thing. And uh, today Mary's got the turn. I did, I did buy them a gift before the week started because I knew that I was going to be an absolute pain in the arse. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mary? <laughs> so, um, having a hell over two weeks and waiting for the blood test results and going to have more tests. Oh, that sounds hell of a week. That mm. sounds horrible. Oh, it's telling me to bobbins low. That's because Dottie used it and didn't change it. Just saying, Dottie, if you ever hear you watch this video. And nothing worse, I can feel my nose ring starting to move. <laughs> and I've got my hands busy, so I can't really rearrange it anyway. So those who, um, I don't know how many we've got on, of oh, oh, about 10, there's only about 10 of us online. So Rado, you've booked yourself in for the, the class, the online class. If anyone else is wanting to do the online class, Jodie says, hi, Mary. Hi. <laughs> she says, hi. Um, please feel free to book yourself in. It's only $20, uh, sorry, $50 for the class fee, which will run over. And that's for four classes, two hours or so each on Zoom, um, doing the stained glass windows workshop. So we'll be starting from the start. You'll have some cutting homework, so you really need to, if you want a kit or you want to do this, you really need to get um, payment and everything in. I'll be sending out um, cutting all requirements and cutting list and everything today for those who've already put their name down and invoice it. Mary's going to invoice everyone this afternoon. Uh, hi, Stella. This sounds as... A bit gritty, yes. Okay, so the reason why it sounds a bit gritty is because it's going through about six or seven layers of fabric, um, adhesive, wadding, <laughs> backing, and it's all batik. Batik tends to sound a bit grittier with sizing that they use. So that'll be why she sounds a little bit gritty. And the bobbin's getting low, so that never helps. And, of course, the thread. Don't forget the thread. We can't forget the thread. It does make a difference. So I'm just bringing that darker colour through. Even though I've got a, a nib one in between, I do want to have them sort of blending a little bit in with that sort of purpley blue and remembering which way your fur goes. Also, try not to just fill in all your fabric. You know, there's, there's no point doing it if you're just filling in all your fabric with um, thread. <laughs> you might as well just do thread from the start. Just draw yourself a picture and do thread. Okay. So, see, I'm just doing a bit of a scribble up here just so I can get to up over here somewhere, so I'm just sort of travelling without yeah, causing any issues. I don't want to create any extra lines that I don't really want. And just putting that darker one in there. I'm going to put that brown in there as well. It needs to be sort of somewhere in between that really dark and brown. Could run out of bobbin any minute now. Just saying. Oh, Estelle and David. <laughs> How are you, mate? Hope you're doing well. I'll oh, stop it. Stop telling me off. Um, also, I, you know, the drawing that I did with the Laura Char and the Pride of Madeira. I did, I did. Um, I actually have that as a digital file as well. So for those who like to machine embroidered, they are, it will be, in two different types of, um, 
seen two different types of um, designs. So there'll be one with just the line work and then there'll be one with the colour. Um, and they will be um, available soon. You'll be able to do some machine embroidery with Michelle's patchwork designs. Okay, how cool is that? So I got offered a job, just thought I'd tell you. Pretty funny. Um, I did decline because it would be extra. Ma, Ma Maggie, how are you going? Um, I hope I'm not overdoing it. What do you reckon? Ooh, I am not. It's been good. I'm sitting on my backside half the day. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been lifting anything. I haven't mm. done anything. I like probably, I probably say if anything, I've probably stretched a few times and I probably shouldn't have, but. After I do this and pick up, oh, I can't even, I don't know what I'm going to do about picking up Jaden because once at work, I'm not supposed to drive, I'll probably be all right to go up to the post stop. Um, yeah, so, and then um, basically I'm going to couch potato it. So for the rest of the day, because I'll be absolutely bothered. Um, there seems to be a lot of new things for someone who is doing nothing. <laughs> no. <clears throat> never. I would never do things like that. All right, so what that's done, um, and you probably can't see it because we're too close, so we'll just zoom out a little so you can see. And I'll put that there. Okay. About a bit, looks the wrong way, that way. So a little bit more. So this here is what I've just done. And that's given that a, a darker look. So I'm going to, I know I've done some brown in there, but I think I need to do a darker one just to um, not make that look so light. I've probably used the wrong kind of fabric in there. It's supposed to be a highlight, but I reckon it's too, um, too bright. So we're going to blend that in a little. And to do that, I need to zoom in so you guys have got me. There we go. And I might have to turn it this way, which means I'm working upside down. So I'm going to swap that over for another colour. And I think I'll reorganise. Here we go. 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 Here the sound no good. Okay, Stella's having it as well as Rado. These things. Um, everyone else or anyone else having issues? We need to log off and log back on. I have got it all connected normally. As much as normal I am. Yeah. Not very normal. Um, I'm just checking whether I need to go darker than that because I'm thinking that might be a little bit light. Yeah, it should be all right. Sometimes it's loud and other times it's tiny. Okay. I'm wondering if that's the... Oh, what's going on there? It's got a big wiki bit. Oh, there we go. It might be where I've got the microphone and because I'm moving around a bit maybe. So you might find that Mary, I'm just moving the microphone again. All good, your end, okay. Um, Mary's fiddling with paper too in the background, which won't help. Mm. Um, we might get Mary to do that somewhere else. And that'll sound all gritty in your ear because the microphone's quite sensitive when you're near it. And just reading my thread because again I still haven't got that fixed. Oh no, I'm hearing it. Uh, I haven't had time. All right, so I'm going to come into this area here. It's sort of just between this darker part up here um, where the top of the neck is and um, where that shadow sort of starts. So I'm going to 
blend the two in, but leave some of that light because I've got a mid color as well in there. So I'm going to try and blend those in. Uh, it's still the same. Yeah, it could very well be the paper, I'd say. You might find with the flicking and stuff, it might happen. So she's been told. <laughs> Thread. How, you, how are you going with your visuals? Is the, the actual video okay? Do I need to oops, that is, tilt it a little bit more? Maybe. Let's tilt it a little bit. Let's see. Oops, there. There we go. Try that. Stop telling me off. So if I blend that between the two. and leave a little bit of that light in between. Not a lot, but just enough to make it look like it's still a highlight. And I really need to come up in here because that's part of the neck. The chocolate bullets, violet crumble and kappa with Michelle. How good is this? Oh my God. <laughs> Pixelating bad for you and sound is scratchy and comes and goes. Probably my internet then. It might be. Yeah, because it's looking pretty good on my end. Um, I know Stella had a few things. But I know that you've had some issues lately, haven't you, Rado, with your internet? It's been a real poo. Um, you know, I know what that feels like. All right, so I'm just... Blending that in a little. I reckon that was my bobbin just finished. Cut off. It's been telling me for about half an hour, I reckon. Yep. Cut off. There's a bobbin. Oh, yeah, finished a bobbin. Completely gone. Empty. Right. And I'll put another half bobbin in because that's what I like to do. Refill bobbins in the middle of videoing all the time. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy. And I just want to get a bit of a loop de loop going on. Let's see if I can get that out. Um, okay. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, someone offered me a job to run the pub, a local pub up here. Um, there's a couple, and I was offered a job. But I don't have time. I'm sort of too busy with what I do here, and yeah, I, mean, I do get, I do, I do digress sometimes. Don't I don't know when I. So it looks like um, the stained glass window is a all systems are go. It's going to be pretty cool because we'll be having a private class between just us ladies and it will be recorded for you so you can always come back. Um, what else? If there's a kit available, the kit um, 190 and that includes everything to do the top plus your binding. Um, you'll still need to get yourself some um, wadding and backing eventually. And it also includes your um, postage and also your, um, what do I call it? Um, oops, so messy, didn't it? Um, that's why uh, mine is doing a bit of that and I cannot hear the machine stitching like I normally do. I'll find out if it's my service or lack thereof. Yeah, well, that's true. Okay, yeah, you might not hear the machine as much because I've got the microphone. I'll just see if I can move a little bit more, a little bit closer. How's that? Is that a bit better? A bit closer? 
hear my voice? Do you hear me? So what was I saying? I can't read. Oh, can I just break this really good? So um, I thought it might have been a commission piece. What's that? The stained glass window. So the stained glass window is for a class. And um, it's going ahead on the 2nd of December. And if you can't get there live, which would be a shame because you can ask questions you want, but if you can't get there, you can always watch it later. Um, it's a $50 class fee and a kit of $190. So that, like I say, that class fee is a one-off and you'll get to watch it as many times as you like. Um, sorry, just got to cut that off. So it's been a bit of a clue. Are you on the new camera set up or the phone? New camera. New camera. Maybe cheeks. Perfect. Sorry, if it plays up anymore, I'm going to crack it. It's a shame. <laughs> it's chewing things. I think there's a lot of thread up here and it's just cracking it at me. Actually, I do remember Dottie telling me about this one bobbin that she had. It was playing up. It could be the bobbin. <laughs> so, um, sorry, I'm just trying to keep my hands out of the way. So you'll be able to um, basically one-on-one -on -one with me but, but without the physical, oh, the job, no, no, not a commission. No, sorry, Judy, I wasn't with you on that. Um, yeah, no, no, I don't need it, <clears throat> even commission work at the moment. <laughs> Um, I've got quilts being, I'm quilting a whole heap of quilts as well, um, which, that's got stuff up, um, which I need to do because that also pays the bills. Um, and I've got a new machine coming in, so I need to make sure that I have the work, workload for it. Hey. Right, so this is a darker one than the last. Okay, I'm with it now. It's been a while since I've touched this one, hey. I need to lift that kit up. It's a little bit low. There we go. All right, so this is your darker one. And I'm just going to... Some random lines just to start off with, and I'll come back to it and fill it in with other colours and everything. This will just give me a basis of the way the um, hair is flowing. So, this is the back of his neck. Okay. Always remembering to try and keep that hair flow going in the right direction. <clears throat> yeah, so in the last, um, or before hospital, I'd done about three or four quilts, and now I've got another one on. And um, and I've still got another one, two, three, because I've just got another one today, four, five, six to go. <laughs> so it's been busy. Gets me out of trouble, doesn't it? So hence the reason for the other machine, because when I have the customs on, as I've said before, they do take up a lot of um, time, a lot more time than, say, an edge-to-edge -edge quilt. Um, and of course that shows in the pricing too, so you know, you'd want it to take more time if you're paying a lot more for it. So I, um, yeah, so that's why I've ordered the second machine. Which I'm looking forward to getting, but it won't be able to come here until I've got my new home. So I'm putting in a bit of a darker colour give it um, some of the low lights that we like to give and putting a bit of 
movement in it by giving it a bit of a wave because I've noticed that the last stitching I did was very reasonably straightish. So I might even, because um, you can't really see that, so I might even see, I don't know if I can go up any further. Oh, yeah, I can. Just bear with me on the camera thing. I'm just going to try and go up a bit so you can sit over the top. All right, there's my machine. That one goes down. And the other zoomed in as far as we can go. Yep, okay. So how's that looking? Can you see a bit more? That's a bit better and my hands are getting away. So I have this major idea in my head and I'm going to do some quilt as you goes. I know, another job, another task. Um, yeah. Anyway. I um, sort of wanted to do some quilt as you goes because it's a really good way to get things quilted, you know, and finished instead of sort of sitting there going, oh, you know, I've got lots and lots of tops and no finished completed quilt. So, and some quilts people look at and go, oh, I couldn't possibly do that as a quilt. Just go, yeah, you can. Why or if you can? Don't you worry about that. So I'm just going to put some darker backward and forward motions, so sideways really, just here at the back end of this, just to get it some more shadowing, darker shadowing, because I am going to come in with some lighter colours and really give it some texture. Because at the moment, it sort of looks a bit random. What's everyone been up to while I've been away? Okay. It's all gone quiet on me. Oh my god. What's happened to my crew? <laughs> Wait, that just broke. I heard it. I'm going too fast for really what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, righty. Okay. Hand out of the way. Oh, okay, so I'm just having a quick squeeze at what I've got and the colour I've got in. I need to just pretty much do some down the front of the horse, around his front of his head and that, just to bring some of that darker one in. And down here, that. Um, he's got enough in the mane. And I think I could probably pop some in this hair, hair, hairy bit here. <laughs> hairy bit. So, yeah, so the noise the machine's making would, I mean, that's pretty typical for something that's going through so many layers and so much thread. Just FYI.
rearranging my house, have an eye infection and dealing with idiots. Oh, my God, Rado, <laughs> an eye infection. How in the heck did you get yourself an eye infection? How's your son's eyes and, and stuff that you've been, you know, dealing with? That, is that all sorted yet? Is that still to, to be done? So this is just a little bit on his ear. There with the fluffy. I'm going to come across the top and I'm working a dark line. Just down there. Give some definition to that ear. Thanks, Gidget. It's getting there. It takes a long time to get these done, you know, it's um, if you're doing a lot of stitching on them. If you're just going outside of these colours, like just stitching around the outside and not doing anything on the inside, you can get them done fairly quickly. But when you're, when you're doing a lot of thread work through them or, you know, filling in with a lot of thread work, then, yeah, you do you do tend to take a little bit longer. All right, so this highlight, again, needs to be settled down because it's way too psycho. So we get in there and settle it down. Heidi, hi, Michelle. That was a very interesting um, bit of information you sent me. I sent it the other day, but I, I didn't have time to, to look at it. I think it was in hospital. But, um, yeah, very interesting bit of information. Very much. So they do know about it. Very frustrating for those who are trying to get that fixed. So I'm just filling in the bits in between here just to um, take away that really starkness of that, that creamy colour because it's against such a dark um, part of the horse and even though it's not um, it's meant to be a highlight but because it's so close to the other part of the horse it just makes it look really really white even though it's not if that makes sense so I'm just going to really dark that up and just wiggle it along just to fill in some bits and pieces Need filling and right there, I'll just scroll over to that. So, yeah, so you sort of have to look at the whole thing and go, Yeah, okay, well, yeah, I've got this really amazing highlight in, but it's just a little bit out there. So, we need to just put some highlights in because, man, you can't have it looking like that all the time, you've got to have it. Okay, looking realistic. So this is why we come in with these other colours and, and start building up. And I might have to come back with a lighter colour again and that's okay, I can do that. Yeah, that's disgraceful, Michelle. Three months is crazy. Yeah. I should never have got to that. That's just not good at all. It's not very good for the company's reputation. Because they're normally like, yeah, I've never known it to be such an issue. I can fix things. Alright, so I'm coming into some of that already really stitched, highly, highly stitched area. And some crazy, crazy stitches here. Even over that little bit of white that's sort of flopping around there. So and I'm, I'm literally moving backwards and forwards, side to side, in the beat of the 
if you can hear the, the beat of it, when the machine goes, you know, or however fast it's going, if you use that as an indicator for how fast you move your hands, then you'll get that really nice sort of scratchy look. And you see a lot of textile artists use that. That can also be achieved by doing it in a zigzag. So if I stick that to a zigzag in the middle, and I think I've got to have it down to and this will be down to you. I think it's one. All right, so put down. Here's my little screwdriver. Here it is. And I can actually create like a zigzaggy look um, because it's already a zigzag. And you just slowly move with your little fingers here. I've got fingers over here, two fingers holding, and one palm on the actual thing. And it creates that sketchy look, which is really quite cool. So if you're wanting to mess up the line of something rather than having a really definite straight line, you can go down it with that sort of look. So that, that can also look really, really good in things like um, dogs, cats, bears, anything that's got fur, you know. You sound really weird today. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't change it now, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on. So um, you're not alone, Rado. The sound is weird for all those involved. <laughs> all right, so I do have, I need to go back to the storage and just put in a little bit of a line down here just to break up that. So, and because I've got it on straight stitch, if I just move it around really rigidly, it'll create that, that really nice zigzag. So you can do it yourself if you, if you can't do zigzag on your machine. You don't have to have a zigzag. Like I'm in the dunny. Okay, so it sounds like I'm in the bottom of a barrel. <laughs> That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I can't do much about it. In the middle of the demo, I can't change anything. I have to log out and lock that in. So I am going over some of this already done stuff. I just put it darker brown. You, you, sorry, so UKI, what does that mean? What does UKI mean? I don't know. Bottom of the dunny? <laughs> so I'm going to pop this one in. I think I've got black in the bobbin still, but it shouldn't matter. Echoey and hollow, yes, and I can't see the stitching or anything. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's a bit of a poo. Um, there's only one other option is I move the camera to the other side. Um, have a look and see how I can do that without making too much of a mess. Bear with me. So, I think I need one in between. All right, so let me see if I can Take this off and lift her up. Right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so let me just, oh, oh now it's on the floor. <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs> I need to get something to sit it on. Hang on. All right, I don't know what I just tried to do. All right. I need um, a box or something. Do you have, you've got a box or something I can sit the camera on? So it needs to really come from here. No, it needs to be over here. Um, I'm, on, I'm up, I'm up to, up to water. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Doesn't matter, we can hear and see you. All right. Uh, it needs to be on an angle. Do you know what you can do? Um, you know, in that bag there is the other, yeah, holder. I don't know if it'll take this thing though. So let me just have a look, Ski. Sorry. No, just that long, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Oh, that doesn't. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta put you down. So <clears throat> yeah, it's this thing. I don't think that will mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of doodah there, so let's screw on. Oh yeah, it does. Hang on. Alright. Let me try <laughs> this little booger. I'm hoping it will play nice. Alright, so bear with me. You can see everything I've done there now. I need to unscrew that. <laughs> Come on. No, there's no mm -hmm. bloody hells. No, it's all good. Girls are good. Yeah. Uh, hi, Eileen. See the script? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. So okay. now now I'm going to... What do you want me to hold? I should take that little... Is that all right? Yeah, push that in. No, 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 you, you're doing it all wrong. Oh. You? you made it really hard. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why don't do this? <laughs> all right. Sorry, everyone's going to be feeling sick by the end of this video. <laughs> all right. Hang on. There we go. We're getting there. Um, that one needs to go like that. Okay. That like neck, it. And that goes in there like that. And we get the little doodle legs. There we go. Oh, look out. He doesn't want to stand up. <laughs> He's got a sore neck. He has a sore neck. Oh, a neck. Yeah, look, look, watch, oh. watch. Yeah. Oh, why is that? Why, why for he do that? Uh, okay. And oh, that's as far as he goes. And if I do that, how far does it go in? But it won't. <laughs> Being a poop. Being a right little poop. You know, let's see if we can get it down a bit. Let's go like that and like that. I think I broke its neck. And I think I did. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> All right. All right. So there we go. Oh, God, brother. Yeah, no, it's got a broken neck. Let's go up a little. Why is its head just dropping? It's just been a real psycho, this thing. Try that way. No, it does not want to take the weight of this camera. What a poof. All right, let's zoom out and then move in. Let's see how close I can get with this head the way it is. The nest wants to be. It's not happening at all today, girls. But I want it to sit up like that. Oh. Can you see that? So if I zoom in there, is that too low? You can really see that up close, can't you? Gee, Oz, that is like. Right up your nostrils, kind of close. Now I've got this cord now. I have a cord in the way. Hang on. All right. I think I've got that out of the way. And I've got a cord that's just. All right. 
bloody twin brother rang, so I have mistaped Stella. I haven't done anything because I've just been fighting with the camera. <laughs> just saying, it's not you at all. So let's see if we can. So can you see it or am I wasting my time? Okay, so you can see it, but can you see the stitches? This is the question. Okay, cool. So then, this is that really nice creamy colour. So I'm just going to add that in without making it take over. And I'll have to come back in with another darker colour anyway, so because it won't look right until I do. So this will help hold down those really light colours. There's quite a few. And up and down there. And because I've got a black bobbin in, although it's been pretty good, it's not really doing the psycho, I'm going to show every step of the bobbin thing. It's not been too bad. Just a bit of Tiny bit too close, maybe. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. How's that? It, see, you need to be above looking down. That's what I was trying to do before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I actually just had the camera and, and everyone was getting drunk watching me try and move the camera around. I think that's basically what happened. Just saying. So you guys actually if I turn that off, no, that hasn't made an ounce of difference. Right, so I'm just gonna zip across there and up here. Stitch that baby down. Um, now, you notice I'm still keeping it going in, you know, in the direction it should be. Not, even though I might do a bit of an outline, I still come back in the right direction for the fur growth, hair growth, whichever animal you're doing. Oop. Right. So I think yeah, it's still too close. So I think it needs to sit up, right, up higher. Let me try and get it up a little bit higher. Ready? One, two, three, and lift. <laughs> oh, now all you've got is that. Oops, move it back and zoom in now. That might be better. How's that? It's still not high enough, like you can't possibly see what I'm doing. Maybe I should have the camera on the left hand side. I think that might be better. So I'll put that on. That just brings more light to the subject. If I zoom out, you can't see a thing. Bring it in, I'd have to come down a little fraction so you can actually see something. I was trying a different device, but same issues for me. Okay. <clears throat> All right, could be my reception today, maybe. That's a bit of a poo in more ways than one.
All right, so what I'll do is I might just, um, there's a couple of other little bit of whitey bits over here that just need to be gone around. I don't need to do any sketchy sort of stuff in them. They just need to be edged, stitched down. So I'll get into them. I like to do at least two rows if I can. And stop there. And still, again, you've gone across here. And there we go. And you're all the way over there. See? Too far away. Well, it very well could be, Rado, because, um, you know, if you're having issues, I'm having issues. We're, we're both bloody stuff, don't we? <laughs> Pretty much. Has it got cloudy outside or anything? Right, sunny day, go figure. I know it's not liking, I don't like this auto focus thing that it does. It's, I know I can turn it off, I'm going to have to turn it off again. We have a total lockdown for six days and then eight days with restrictions as of midnight to not that oh. I can tell you what, everyone across Victoria feels your pain, Stella. Honest to God. Now I don't know the whole story of it, so I should look into it but I, I haven't had time and I'm really not really wanting to watch the news and so, um, so is that started from a um, hotel lockdown? Was that? It was. Was it? Mary saying, uh huh. So a hotel lockdown, and that was governed by the South Australian government. Am I correct? Is that right? Have I got the whole story pretty much? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Gotta love it. That's so, so so familiar. You think after one government stuffs it up like that, that another one would just go, hmm, we might actually listen and learn from this dude because he stuffed up and we don't want to do what he did. I need motion sickness pills. <laughs> we had seven months with no cases, but someone from a Medi hotel, a cleaner, took it home with her. A cleaner. So... Does she? Where did she come from originally? Was she in South Australia, or, or did she work in Victoria or Queensland, or well, New, New South Wales has had some. You know, Sydney's had its fair share of cases lately. Bloody horrible, it really is. Family fifteen, and they seem to have been everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, these people. Don't make me start. <laughs> Don't start me. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. Trust me. You'll only be thinking what I say. I can tell you now. Oh, my opinion is not very high. Of them, don't I oh, swear to God, I'd be devastated. I would be devastated if I did that to the whole state. You know what I mean? I'd leave the state. <laughs> I'd have to leave. I think I'd have to leave the whole state because I reckon that you'd be shunned. Like there'd be people with shotguns after you. <laughs> Seriously, wouldn't they? They'd not be after you with shotguns. I'd be after them. You feel like going after with shotguns? Like, dude. <laughs> So the government has told us all to stay inside and see where it is. They are all from South Australia. Overseas people came home. Someone had it and she got it. Oh. So they brought it in from overseas. Oh. No wonder the people, Frankie. I'm sorry. And I know there's people with family in the overseas and I really feel for them. But they might need to stay there until it's over. I just think that it would be safer for everyone involved. And I, I do feel for them because I know they want to be home. 
and you know, Polynesia is more people around swimming or whatever. Maybe some of these countries need to actually support some of their tourists. But yeah, I don't know, that just sounds <laughs> avoidable. Really? Be savage. I was savage when we got down lockdown the second time. And I'm not even near Melbourne. Like nowhere near Melbourne. I'm like, really? And I know why they have to, and I get it, and I feel bad for people and I think that's awful, but I'm also savage. <laughs> so I get over it all on my own. <laughs> Anyway, it is what it is, I suppose. Nothing you can do about it. Alright, so that's awful. You guys, Stella, David, you've probably done the right okay. thing. I can understand they have not let anyone know who they are. I bet they won't. <laughs> Yeah, you could. You could come over here. Well, we haven't shut the border to you yet, so come on. <laughs> they haven't yet shut the borders. We're still letting people in as far as I know. Uh, I can understand why they have to come home. They should have done it by... Right. Exactly right. As soon as the government said, um, time to come home, everyone, there's about to be a pandemic. It's epidemic. Mm. Dead giveaway probably should come. I know people who actually had to cut their holiday short and come home. Um, I know people like myself who couldn't go on their, their working holiday, not, not really working holiday. So, no, I was not working. <laughs> I didn't know. So, you know, I mean, shit happens. You just have to cut your holiday off early. Sorry, uh, tough love for me. Tough love. All right, so I've been on it for about an hour ish. It's gone fairly quickly. And I did give you seasickness there at one point. I do apologise for that. Michelle, that was because you tried to cross over a sea. The borders in South, New, South, uh, New Zealand aren't quite open yet. So, what happens, Michelle? You got seasickness because you tried to cross over. Too early. So, so I'm just filling in with some lighter thread, as you can see. And what you'll also see is I'm doing some outer pieces, which I'll show you once I can get this camera in the right position. Is I'm putting some lighter pieces of the main just out light little hairs so and um we'll keep going all right so we'll call it for today thank you for joining me i am going to keep um uh, keeping on i'm going to think of you guys um at least you now have it all set up with um, Zoom and YouTube and I don't know about David. <laughs> David's going to have to sit there and listen to me cackle. Um, <laughs> Mary's making coffee because that's what we do. We have an instant coffee and we literally instantly and it's instant. Um, as soon as we finish um, any kind of live, because I need to regroup and get my brain thinking. So stop my brain from thinking. So let me just oh, stop. A picture after video would be great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you sewing past the fabric so it looks like a head? Yes. So I'm going to show you any minute now. Let me go. All right. Uh, let's zoom out. <laughs> there, look. So see the hair on the... Um, the ears that's starting to fluff out a little I'll get some other colors in there I'm starting to get some colors in here and the hair's flicking out I'll have some come that way as well but I do need other colors 
And I am just starting to, I'm trying to hold this still, but it's heavy. So I'm just starting to do it here and you can see some are coming out. But again, I do need a color in between these and might need to have a little bit of an orange look to it. So, um, and I will get rid of some of those little hairy bits, but uh, you can see it's starting to, and that's the nose. I'm not gonna do much more to that nose. I do need to come in that thing there because it's not stuck, stitch down. Um, and I've got to do the eye. But it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy so far, so good. I'm not even, I'm thinking I might have to do some highlight along here just with some of that light colour. Um, and that's good. And I'll, I'll pop a picture up just to show what we've done today. And um, you can see the progress of it coming along just nicely. All right, I'm going to pop that down. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate your time and doing the friendly stalker thing. Um, that's it now. Uh, Deb asked me a question. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I, I feel fine. I don't feel sick or anything. So I just, um, just sore. Yeah, just, you know, can't sit down very well. <laughs> Have a sit on one cheek. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a bit lopsided occasionally. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, anyway, but no, I'm feeling fine. I've just I just get that little bit tired because I'm I'm a little bit sore and stuff. So but thank you for asking, I appreciate it. And I got some really, really cute balloons from some very lovely lady. <laughs> um it was really lovely to, to receive. It was really, really nice. So yeah, yeah. Um, and I've hung them up and I'll, I'll show you. I won't show, don't tell you her name. She might not want me to, but I'm just turning my camera around and all this crap on the table, but don't mind that. But look at my balloons. Hang on, I'm going to zoom out. Hang on. Look at them. How cool are they? <laughs> so I've got this lovely thing of balloons now. She sent me this really nice thing to, to make me feel better. That was lovely. All right, ladies, um, I will chat to you later um, and I'll pop a photo up for you and uh, see you soon. Bye.